squirrel might be the single most adorable creature you can recall in all your stunted memory. Hello again, welcome back. We've all seen clips from the 7.5 PDB, right? Billy's back, Blight's nerf really just made him twice as stupid as Sonico. Oh, the fucking Gilder, dude. <laughs> Because I'm an egotistical maniac, I was hoping a certain character got a few changes because she's damn close to being perfectly balanced. Yeah, I'm talking about the plague again, who would have guessed? <laughs> We're talking about the eerie seal, and if this sounds familiar, that's because I covered this like a year ago. I'm pulling an A-run today because I didn't do a particularly good job explaining what makes the seal busted. Sure, I hit the nail on the head with how much potential time it gives, but there's a huge difference between a plague with four fountains and the seal. Retrieving Corrupt manually requires you to use your Grey Matter, as you can easily lose both Pressure and Corrupt time. Take this example, I explicitly go out my way to grab Corrupt. This takes 34 seconds just to get a hit, and 15 of that was with Corrupt. That amount of Corrupt dissipation is a very upsetting sight, and it would've been even worse if Elodie wasn't having a moment. This is a big deal for one big reason. Time. Since we aren't occupying anyone, they effectively got 2 minutes and 26 seconds of generator progress before we could even interrupt. This example… isn't very good. I've made a comedically bad example that intentionally removes a ton of variables, mainly the other survivors, but it's still helpful to get the mindset. Basically, it's just min-maxing, but with other human beings. You want to draw as many survivors off gens as you can while also getting them to group up and stay grouped up for as long as possible. With our power, we want to minimize the downtime for whatever we just did to whatever we're fiending for. Perfect example of this is infection chaining. You want to minimize how long you take to get an infection, then quickly find someone else. In the same vein, you also want to keep survivors within 13 meters of you for as long as possible. I know these are pretty general, but I've been working on a guide for a mechanic tied to one of these for over a year. That's not a what was me situation. It's a statement to how much thought and skill needs to go into this. So why did I give you an impromptu tutorial on Plague DVD? Well, it's horrifically funny when you look at the eerie seal. Everything I've just mentioned, that goes entirely out the window for slamming your head against the keyboard. You'll never suffer the pressure loss as you automatically get corrupt. Employing clever tactics? Nah man, just grab these two and your finest glue for maximum value. If you haven't figured out already, this add-on fundamentally breaks Plague's balance, and just like another add-on that does the same thing, it's like lead poisoning for the killer running it, and I honestly can't blame Plague's for it. You're thoughtlessly given the best ability in DBD multiple times for free, not to mention you have to cleanse against this add-on. It's bad enough that I've seen Eerie Plagues willingly tank pallet stuns, which is yeah. the stupidest thing I've ever seen while also being the scariest thing imaginable. Eerie Plagues don't have a single thought about anything other than the urge to fucking kill you. You motherfucker! Get over here, dude! just the seal by itself, because like I said previously, you can get 5 minutes of stock corrupt for free, which is fucking terrifying. Sure, a majority of plagues are still playing Baldur's Gate on the second monitor, but what if they weren't? Say a certain bizarre and delusional plague main decided he was going to violate the Geneva Conventions. Before I show this match in full, I've got to say, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please like and subscribe. I know where you live, so it's not too unreasonable, I don't think. Are you sure you don't want to finish that? Because I'd love for you to finish that, Jan. Mm, we, they've kind of got a god tier setup here. I'm just like just looking at it. Hmm. 
for the ass, 5 out. I love fighting enemy gamers. I just see an enemy gamer. Yeah, I don't think I did. Oh no, I did. Alright, the booty. I need to maybe the same. <gasps> I got scared. I got scared. I got scared. Oh! <gasps> Oh, unlucky! Unlucky! Balance landing on Ashley. Unlucky, dude! Unlucky. Why? You're supposed to drink three liters of water a day? Well, now? Five head? Well, break this. He's walking to save our attention, it looks like. But yeah, no, I, I drank water yesterday. Like... As if you're not supposed to drink water every day, but like, still. Mm. They spawned over there, majority believe. Oh no, here we go. Dude, I can't wait for the Shadowborn update, because like, holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. Do you think they know? Do they know? Question marks? Do they know? I only drink water. Normal water is gross. Rose drinking fucking mineral water? My bad. Does he know? I love tap water. I love I love when it tastes a bit like metal. I'm not gonna lie. FOV changes give me motion sickness, so I'm finally able to run Mono Air. Ooh, she hesitated a little there. Ooh, I hesitated a little there. I love slugging, by the way. I'm not sure you guys know this yet, but I love slugging. I get this. Oh, I could just end the fucking round. I just realized what. Oh. I just love slugging. I just love slugging. I just love slugging. I love slugging so fucking much. Yippee! I love slugging. Woo! Give me my fountain. No? I just love slugging so much, dude. Holy. <laughs> wondering if this add-on has a counter, and yes it does! The only problem with it is it's equally stupid. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How do you deal with something that does everything that we've just covered, but also has zero tells that you're gonna get hit with it? Well, it's the exact same principle behind not cleansing. You can actually minimize the amount of time Plague gets by 99ing generators to pop them at the same time. I shouldn't need to state the obvious, but I'm going to anyways. Not only should Plague see this coming, but she has a couple of methods to deal with that. It's also an insane level of organization to be expected from the average pub swift. Forget solo queue, they're fucking dead. I've only had this happen to me once while running the seal. I just the entity's golden retriever? I think I'd be more of a pug, you know, just very generally unhealthy. And like, like, like really, really slow. See, if I don't know where I'm going, she won't either. Hold on. Hold on. No! 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 Wait! 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 You weren't supposed to! No! Wait! Motherfuckers! Oh my god, okay, GG's. 